Magandang araw, atin pong pag-usapan ang Dep Ed Order 31 Series 2020 or yung Interim Guidelines for Assessment and Grading in Light of the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan. So, ito ay kalalabas lamang nitong Oktubre, okay, na kung baga pansamantalang pamalit muna dun sa unang grading system ng uh, basic education na kung saan ito'y nakapaloob noon sa DepEd Order number 8 Series 2015. So, halos magkapareho lang itong uh, uh, grading system na ito, itong na, na sa DepEd Order number 31 Series 2020 at dun sa uh, nakapaloob doon sa DepEd Order number 8 Series 2015. Ang pinagkaiba nga lang, okay, doon sa DepEd Order uh, number 8, Series 2015, merong bahagi doon na quarterly assessment. Okay, so kung maalala natin, yung grade ng bata ay nasusukat sa tatlong kategorya. Okay, so written works, performance task, at quarterly assessment. Okay, ngunit dito sa ating... Uh, Uh, bagong DepEd Order or yung DepEd Order number 31 Series 2020, okay, dalawa na lamang yung focus ng assessment. Okay, ito po yung written works at performance task. Okay, so pag-usapan natin itong DepEd Order or pasadahan natin itong DepEd Order number 31 Series 2020. So, at the end of the video, okay, So, pwede nyo i-comment on, on the comment box yung inyong email address. Okay? Para kung halimbawang makita ko yung inyong message, masesendan kayo ng, ng link na kung saan pwede ninyong i-download yung uh, template ng class record. I just want to reiterate that the template that will I'll be sharing you later on is not... Uh, Uh, issued by the Department of Education official, officially pero ito ay naka, naka uh, or it is anchored with DepEd Order 31 Series 2020. So, doon sa learning uh, uh, assessment or doon sa assessment or doon sa uh, grading system natin na sa bagong template na ipapalabas ng, Dep ng DepEd, okay, Meron na lamang doon na written works at performance task. Okay. Pasadahan natin itong grading and promotion. So the challenges brought to light by the coronavirus pandemic, specifically the implementation of different distance learning delivery modalities, have sparked a larger conversation about the role grades play in student learning prompting educator sectors to rethink traditional grading scheme. So the grading system implemented in this interim policy provides reasonable leniency to learners who are put to a larger disadvantage by the pandemic, but at the same time does not compromise the integrity and principle of assessment and grading. Okay, so written works and performance tasks shall be administered to assess the content and performance standards that describe the knowledge, abilities, and skills that learners are expected to demonstrate. This task could be designed to include the following. Okay? So, nabanggit, written works and performance tasks lamang ang i-administer. So, this task could be designed to include the following. Students' learning portfolio that documents all the evidence of learning within the grading period, including self-reflection, self-evaluation of performance tasks guided by rubrics, and self-selected best outputs in learning modules. Okay. So, ilan ba yung pwedeng ipagawa? Or ilan ba yung pwedeng uh, gawin ng mga bata? Okay. So, minimum of four written works. Okay. Also, minimum of four performance tasks within the quarter. So, it's not necessary or hindi naman pwede na isa lang yung gawin ng bata. Dalawa, tatlo, up. Kundi, apat or minimum of four written works at minimum of four performance 
task. So, all competencies should be covered by the performance task. Example, a performance task can be used to assess science, math, and English altogether for certain topics. So, for the current school year, quarterly assessments shall not be administered. However, days allotted for quarterly assessment in depth and order 7, series 2020, or the school calendar and activities for school year 2021 may be used for the presentation of major performance for the quarter that addresses the performance standard. Okay? So, yung 20% na quarterly assessment noon sa Dep and Order number 8, Series 2020, since hindi naman na siya kasali dun sa grading system natin ngayong taon, okay, it was already distributed to the two, two categories, okay, or to the two components. Okay? So, Kung maaalala natin, maaalala natin, 20%. So, tig 10% ngayon ang napunta sa performance task at sa written works. Okay. So, kung dati, ang language APESP, okay. So, we have, ito yung sa Dep Ed Order 8-2015. So, ang language ESP AP, ang written works at performance task nila. Okay? At Q, QA natin. Okay? So, noon, sa Dep Ed Order uh, number 8, series 2015, ang written works natin ay 30, tapos performance task natin 50, and 20 for the quarterly assessment. Ngunit, dito sa ating Dep Ed Order 31, series 2020 okay ang uh, language ESP AP natin okay since meron na lamang tayong dalawang uh, components written works and performance tasks as i may mas mataas ng weight okay so sabi natin itong 20% dito sa ating quarterly assessment ay nahati na okay sa written works at performance task. So, ngayon, dito sa ating Depth Ed Order number 31 series 2020, ang language, ESP, and AP ay meron ng okay, 40% for the written works at 60% sa performance task. Yan yung ating, uh, yung pagbabago. Okay, as well, as well as dun sa science. Okay, science, math natin. So, noon, 40% 40, 40 for the written works, 40% for the performance task, at 20% doon sa ating quarterly assessment. Ngunit dahil sa pagpasok ng ating Depth Ed Order number 31 series 2020, ang uh, magiging components na lang natin ay written works and performance task. Kaya nga, ang, uh, sa science and math, ang written works natin, 50%. At yung performance task natin ay 50% na lamang. Also, for the MAPE, MAPE TLE, okay, or EPP for the elementary, noon, okay, we have 20%, 60%, and 20%. Noon yan sa Dep Ed Order number 8 series 2020. Ngunit, dito sa ating Dep Ed Order number 31 series 2020, okay, ang MAPE TLE EPP ay meron ng 30% for the written works at 70% for the performance task. So, yan yung pagbabago na nangyari doon sa ating grading system. So, comment down below your... Uh, uh, reaction regarding Dep Ed Order Number Thirty One Series Twenty Twenty. Then later on, I will be pasting uh, in the comment, or I'll be sending you o uh, email. Na kung saan pwede yung i-download yung ating template. I just want to emphasize at uh, uh, ulitin na yung template na ang na aking ishare ay hindi officially issued by the Department of Education at uh, pwede nyo lamang gamitin pansamantala 
at kapag meron nang inalabas ang DepEd na template, yun na lang po yung ating gagamitin. So, uulitin ko, hindi officially issued by the Department of Education ang ating uh, ibibigay na template, ngunit ang nilalaman nun, okay, ay nanggaling din sa sa DepEd, okay, or yung mga uh, guidelines na nakapaloob sa DepEd Order Number 31 Series 2020 ay nasunod. So, magandang araw po muli.